Facing Waves is brought to you in part by Current Designs, the world's leading builder of premium kayaks. Visit us online at cdkayak.com. One hundred twenty miles long and fifty miles wide, Georgian Bay is a massive body of water on the northeastern side of Lake Huron. Two hours from Toronto, the southern end of Georgian Bay is a spectacular but relatively populated cottage country. But the northern end of Georgian Bay, which was only accessible by boat until the 60s, is a much different story. Only four hours from Toronto, you'll find the beautiful and remote coastal village of Killarney and an absolute wilderness paradise. As with most visitors to the area looking to get their paddle wet, our trip starts at Killarney Outfitters. Well, we created Killarney Outfitters in 1972, shortly after Killarney Provincial Park opened in the, the mid-60s. Uh, we rent sea kayaks and canoes, and our, our, our great forte is complete outfitting. We set up everyone with their food, their camping gear, paddling gear, the trip planning service. So we take care of all the reservations and do a little write-up of you know what you're going to see in each lake. We also sell ice cream, which is a big, <laughs> big seller for most people. The good thing about working at Killarney Outfitters is everybody that works there is has that same kind of attitude and interest in in the outdoors, and they're they're out there doing it. So when you're talking to, to somebody who works there, you're, you know, somebody who's been out in the backcountry and knows what the portages are and knows how the equipment's going to perform. They couldn't make coming to the Clarny area and experiencing any of the cool trips any easier. Clarny itself is one of the oldest communities uh, in Northern Ontario. We have the best of both worlds. We have the Lacloche mountain range approaching 2,000 feet above sea level running through our backyard, and our front yard is one of the most pristine waters on the Great Lakes. I mean, you can paddle Georgian Bay and have smooth rocks and mazes, or you can paddle in the park and see dead lakes and quartzite cliffs, or you can hike and see all the different aspects at one time. Among the incredible opportunities the Killarney area provides is sea kayaking around Philip Edward Island. So today we are heading out onto Georgian Bay to Philip Edward Island. And right now we're at the Chickenishing Creek access point. It's the main access point to Georgian Bay from Killarney. We're going to be sticking behind all these small rock islands and going through the mazes and heading into La Hayes Bay. Um, and from there, then we're going to start to uh, still cut behind the islands and head down to the Foxes, where we're gonna set up camp on East Fox. The first morning on Philip Edward Island was absolutely beautiful. Sun came up, virtually no clouds in the skies, and it was golden light all morning long. What I like about Philip Edward Island is as soon as you make the make the turn onto the South Shore, you're just instantly in a in a different world. And even on really busy weekends, you feel like you're out there on your own. You do have to watch the weather. It can uh, can pick up fairly quickly. Uh, it's, it's suggested that even if you're going out for an afternoon paddle, you pack some meals in your tents and and take some stuff with you in the event that you don't. You know, don't get don't get back that night as planned. In 
particular, the rocks around Philip Edward Island, really, they're less rocks and more just glacial scraped, smooth bedrock. They, they form like these whale-like shapes. Take a chance.